Okay, so you may have a non-frost fridge, like this one, this is a Whirlpool model, that is frosting up. In that case, there are a few components that need to be checked in the back of the freezer here. You have the fan, you have the bimetallic switch, you also have the defrost timer and the defrost heater. Usually this is caused by icing up, where the heater is not cycling on and off properly. The usual cause for concern is usually the bimetallic switch, so hopefully when we remove the back panel we'll be able to see the bimetallic switch and test it and maybe replace it. What I've noticed here so far is that there's ice buildup here and that indicates that the heater is not cycling properly. Okay, so we've taken the back plate out and you can see some of the components are exposed like the fan and you can notice ice build up right on the bimetallic switch so we'll have to check this switch and see if it is working properly okay so what we have done we've taken out the fan motor to get access to take out the bimetallic switch so hopefully we'll be able to run some tests on the bimetallic switch the fan and to test for resistance on the heater and determine where the problem lies. Okay so we are about to test the resistance on the heater coil and once we get something that is not open circuit then we know the heater is working. So we're getting about 30.5 ohms so that says that the heater coil is good. So this is the wiring diagram of the refrigerator, the Whirlpool refrigerator that we are dealing with. Here on the circuit diagram you could see the fan motor. It comes directly from the AC supply here and goes to the timer switch where the timer switches it on and off and makes back the circuit on that pink wire. Now what we've noticed with this refrigerator is that the fan motor switches on and off so more than likely the problem is not with the timer. We've just shown that the defrost heater is good. So the only connecting part between the defrost heater and the timer is the bimetallic switch. Hence we will focus our attention on trying to either change this bimetallic switch and eventually determine that it, not, it is not working properly and eventually change it. So I've had the bimetal switch inside this freezer for about 10 minutes and as you can see the multimeter reads open circuit. So definitely there is a failure on this bimetallic switch. So I've put in the new, I'm just testing out a new bimetallic switch and right now it has just been put in so it's on open circuit. Let's leave it for a little while and see if it actually closes. Okay, so after about 10 minutes with the new bimetallic switch, we see that we are getting a reader. It's no longer open circuit. It wouldn't be perfect because it isn't enclosed properly and um, just part of it is touching the ice. But we can see that we are getting a reader in here. Okay, so what we have done, we've put on a new bimetal switch and we will try to connect up and put back the fridge together and give it a test run. So this refrigerator has been working continuously for the past three days and there has been no sign of ice buildup. So this looks like it has solved the problem.